here we are at the Dubai Aquarium. Ask me how much we paid for these tickets. Answer later on in this video. Okay, so with this video, I'm going to give you as much of a walkthrough as humanly possible because I feel like it was not that easy to get through the aquarium and figure out where everything was. We followed all the signs in the mall to get us to the aquarium. And the uh, good thing about our Burj Khalifa passes is that we did not have to pay any additional money to go to the aquarium whatsoever. And we were actually able to skip the line. So this is the outside of the tunnel downstairs. And you can see all of the shops in the background. It was actually pretty impressive. The juxtaposition of all of the stores with the wildlife, the underwater wildlife was pretty interesting. So just from first glance, there is a really great biodiversity within the tank. There's a bunch of different species that are cohabitating. However, it seems like some of the fish are a little bit malnourished. They did have some of those telltale signs from their scales. I think that a hard part about being at this aquarium for me is that I went with my dad who is a researcher and he has just recently published a book about saltwater fish. So I really had one of the world's experts there with me. We started off by the going through the underwater tunnel. It was very annoying because pretty much at every single stop, there was somebody asking to take pictures. The pictures cost like 40, 50, 60 dollars to get developed. It was really a racket, but we walked straight into the tunnel and there was somebody who was feeding the fish and actually inserting the fish into the bigger uh, animals mouths. That was really awesome to see. I think that this is some sort of stingray. I don't remember, but he actually put the food into the animal's mouth. And I was like, whoa. So it was cool to get uh, an up close and personal view of that process and see how the sharks and stuff were eating. This tank was stunning in the sense that it was really, really clean. A lot of aquariums that you go to in America, at least, there's a lot of algae and the, I guess it's plexiglass scenes, a little bit weathered, some UV damage, but this actually looked like they go through and they clean and they scrub the glass every single day. So I was really excited to see that. Something that is important to note is that within this aquarium inside the mall, and you have to be careful because there are at least two aquariums in Dubai, there's the one that's at Atlantis, and then there's this aquarium inside this mall. There are a variety of different experiences that you can do. You can dive, like you can actually get in the water with the divers in a cage, I'm pretty sure, but there is an actual opportunity for you to pay and get in the water and swim with the fish or snorkel with the fish. The thing is in Dubai, pretty much anything that you would want to do you can get done just by paying a little bit of money. Now we will continue the journey at the underwater zoo. Important to note that the underwater zoo and the tunnel are not connected at all. So you might go through the tunnel and be like, what? This was such a ripoff, which is how we felt at first. But then we realized that there was a second part, which was the zoo. We had to go out, find an elevator because we did have the stroller and go upstairs to find the underwater zoo. There was yet again another check-in. We were able to skip the line upstairs as well. There was yet another photo op waiting for us, which was really, really frustrating because it was kind of like at every turn, we were like, no, thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you. It was pretty ridiculous actually, but I come to find that that's kind of how things are in Dubai. They're always trying to like make a quick buck off of you no matter what uh, or where you're at. Um, so here you see, we got through security yet again. Here are um, some, there's like a couple of facts on the walls and you can press the buttons like at any zoo or any aquarium and get more information about the sharks and whatnot but we really came here for the action. So I just looked at a couple of the different things that they had to say on the screen and I was ready to go. Um, yet another checkpoint. There's no way to sneak into here, guys. So if that's what you're watching this video for, just know it's not possible. So this is where things started to get really cool. 
um, there were actually a lot of graphics and things that you could interact with on the way into the zoo. So I was assuming that the zoo was going to be terrible because I was like, if they spent this much money on the videos and everything out here, then they couldn't have anything inside. But wrong. When we walked into this room, I was, my breath was taken away. Yeah, they had on the walls information about sustainable fishing and people stealing shark fins and stuff but what really was the most standout thing about this room was the smell it was hot and humid and it definitely smelled like there were some tropical birds around which i did not see until i decided to look up and there actually were some tropical birds flying overhead and there was a chance for you to um, interact with the birds and there was an excursion that you could pay for where the birds would land on your arm and you could take a photo op with them. Obviously, we're broke and we're cheap, so we weren't trying to do any of that. We were just doing everything that was already included in our Burj Khalifa tickets. And as you see, these birds up here, I think my dad looked them up, that they were literally worth thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And here you see these sea otters bickering and fighting. I like to think of them as if they were my sisters fighting with me over stealing their clothes. And there was a trainer inside their tank that was actually doing some pretty cool tricks with them. He ended up kissing them on the lips or I guess their mouths. I don't know that they have lips, which was kind of weird to me. I don't know how far i would be willing to go if i weren't doing that job in order to get a reaction out of people or maybe he really loves the sea otters i don't know for me it was a little bit weird um but this show was completely free there was no added price to watch the sea otters do their little dances i saw some big old catfish that i wish i could have eaten for dinner um, but one thing that you really have to give it up to them about is that even though this is a fresh water tank, it is pristine. It is, the water is so clear. There's no algae that's really visible and everything seems like it is expertly maintained. And to talk once again about the biodiversity, even like the bioluminescence of these plants, they're so green and lively. I'm not somebody who's ever been a fan of freshwater tanks. At my house, we've always had huge, huge saltwater tanks. Look, it's dinner. <laughs> Just kidding. At my house, we've always had huge saltwater tanks. And, and my experience with freshwater tanks is that it's always been so difficult to maintain. But even if you look at the sand, it's all so clean. And I'm not really sure how they did that. But yet again, I have to give my kudos to them. I feel like in Dubai, if you have the right amount of money, anything is possible. And here you see my turtle friends. Turtle, turtle. We went up to the Penguin Cove. There was a little bit extra of a charge to get there, which was frustrating, but we were really excited to go see the penguins. Penguins are my little sister's favorite thing, so we were gonna go for her. They only have Gen 2 penguins, which they said are the third largest penguins in the entire world. My son was not interested. He was knocked out. There was no waking him up whatsoever. <laughs> So we walked over this glass bridge. Underneath there was a boat, which, surprise, surprise, you have to pay another surcharge to be able to ride the boat around the aquarium, which, let's just take a step back. There's a boat inside an aquarium, inside a mall. Like, what? But all things are possible in Dubai. So this is a Gen 2 penguin. Like I said, it's like the third largest. The penguins were in the middle of molting, so they were changing over their feathers. They looked kind of funny, and they weren't really doing too much. They didn't swim. They didn't do anything. I guess we came in an off time. And here they show their little jellyfish farm. I was asking the staff person, what do they do with the jellyfish after they mature? Because they have so many of them that they're incubating. I was asking if they sell them, if they uh, use them as food, and I was given a no comment. So part of me thinks that uh, there is some selling of some jellyfish going on or something of the such. Um, so now we walked downstairs. We had a better view of the boat. The boat is really just a track that circles around 
the big tank it's not really large or too exciting so i would say that the boat is probably not worth it we definitely didn't pay for it because you're look at the people on the boat because you're already getting pretty much 360 views of the entire tank i don't think it was necessary to get in the water with the fish or to have to use that boat to go around the big tank um, so here was where they were prepping the food for the whole aquarium. I found that to be really interesting because as somebody who has owned a bunch of fish in the past, I was really just thinking like, wow, it's probably going to cost a lot of money to maintain, uh, all the food for all of these fish, especially if they're not eating each other. Um, but yeah, there was now the transition into the rainforest which was not my favorite part of the overall experience but there was yet another elevator which i was grateful for because nobody's trying to carry that stroller upstairs yet again here's another gift shop here's another cafe another place to buy food and souvenirs and drinks it's like everywhere you turn it's just like money grab money but grab money grab so we walk across this little bridge thing and look more places to buy things <laughs> um but looking down you have a good uh view of the tanks and some crocodiles please forgive me i don't remember if they're alligators or crocodiles but i'm just gonna say crocodiles because i like them better here we found the solitary bathroom within the entire aquarium and afterwards we walked walked across this rickety bridge um to see a couple more birds of prey what I will say is that the bridge was pretty narrow. If you're somebody who weighs a fair amount, like my dad is six foot four and closer to like 250 pounds, and the bridge was leaning just a little bit with him. So if you're somebody who's a little more hefty, definitely don't recommend going across that bridge. But here we go with the shining star of the aquarium and it is the salt water tanks wow there's dory in there from finding nemo again these tanks were so clean and that was the first thing that i was thinking but i was a little bit taken aback because i feel that the fresh water tanks were actually a little bit more well maintained than the salt water tanks and it's usually quite the opposite um but of course anybody with eyes can see that there was such great diversity of species they had all of the fish that are really really attractive to the eye the cost of fish which i know from my dad and his fish tanks and his literature has gone up and up and up and up a lot of these tangs that you're seeing in there can cost upwards of two three or four hundred dollars I so I was sitting, thank God, there was nowhere else to sit in the entire aquarium. Um, so I was sitting down finally and my dad, who is a fish expert, was having the time of his life and I was just ready to go. My back was killing me at this point because we had gone up the Burj Khalifa and down. We had gone to the food court, walked around the mall, and now we were going through the aquarium, which I would say took in total, this was about like hour six. So my back was killing me. I was getting really frustrated and really hungry. I didn't want to pay the upcharged fees for the food within the aquarium. So I was just sucking it up um, outside of all of these different tanks. They did have little ledges that you could sit on, but for the most part, people were just rushing on through. I was really impressed with their variety of turtles though. I haven't seen such an extensive turtle experience or turtle selection in quite some time. So finally it was time to go and then we had yet another security checkpoint which I don't understand because we had already gone through the entire place and yet another souvenir shop. Thanks again for watching my walkthrough and subscribe for more Dubai related content.